greetings and welcome back to another episode of Cooking in Conversation with your host, Home Chef Nick. I have some lovely guests in the audience today. Two very phenomenal women, by the way. I'm just saying, just phenomenal. I might ask for another lady after the show. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> Would you all like to introduce yourselves? Sure. Um, I'm JC. Um, presently in Maryland. Uh, I don't know what else to say, <laughs> but yes. Um, I'm Katera. Um, I'm school counselor, and um, I love red wine. As you see, ladies and gentlemen, we have wine right here. You know, I'm the eyeball. I got Moscato if I got red wine. <laughs> Sir, Joel. He just introduced me. I'm Joel. I live in North Virginia. And contrary to what you see here, I'm not an alcoholic. <laughs> I'm just social. There you go. Right. <laughs> there you go. So, ladies and gentlemen, today we have a menu that's Italian-inspired. We're going to do lasagna with ground chicken. And the homemade uh, uh, sauce as well, okay, for the lasagna. Then we're gonna have a seafood carbonara. And for the seafood carbonara, we're gonna have the pancetta in it. We also have scallops and shrimp. And last but not least, you ever had egg rolls before? Not these. You're gonna have a seafood medley egg roll. And I'll show you that later. I gotta keep loose. Suspense going. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna toast. I just hit 1,000 subscribers. Yes. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so oh, there you go. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in and subscribing. And please continue to subscribe and watch and comment. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. First thing we're gonna do is lasagna. That's it. Empty pan. Empty pan. <laughs> right. Is this something in that glass <laughs> that we should know about besides that sky? Okay, here's our sauce. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some tastings of the sauce that you can rise. Sample plates. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got something, Yes, it's your birthday, and life is short, so you really have to celebrate. Yes. yes. And, and I am grateful to God himself because Thank you. my friends got me uh, kind of extra drunk when we went out. <laughs> he said extra? He said extra yeah. drunk. So well, you were already man. drunk. No. They no. just, oh. No, when I tell you we went to a place called The Spectrum in Bellsville. I don't know what that is. That was, what is that? It's, it's a lounge. Yeah. It's a lounge. Okay. And it's in where? Beltsville. 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 Mm -hmm. That's in Maryland. Off mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. That's why I'm like, what's this ambiance? <laughs> oh, what kind no. of music they play? Uh -huh. oh, oh, they had everything from soca to house. Okay. Yeah, that's, nice. that's what I like to hear. What was you drinking? <laughs> right? I don't even know. Since you were swimming you know, extra, yeah. so extra they, drunk. So they gave me a birthday bottle. Which was what? I'm taking my mouth. Oh. No, I listen. I drink coke for the before. Mm -hmm. Last this night. Like this is all natural. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I made it completely from scratch. Really? Yes. Tomatoes and all. Uh, so the tomatoes were organic uh, tomatoes. Mm -hmm. and they were the tomatoes oh, for, for, uh, on the vine. You didn't snack, Linda? No, I Wait. didn't. Oh, no, that's, I did. that's not I talking about that. How did you? I didn't have to clean it all weekend. So you did. Because you put your I, arm, some arm muscle in there. Oh, so, okay. All right. So what <laughs> I did was, Jimmy. I had the um, tomatoes and I diced them up real fine. Mm -hmm. You know, so, with a nice long butcher knife. Hey, and then I, um, hey, listen, I had oregano. I had sage. Oh, I had rosemary. Yes. I had uh, oh, some. Yes, I had basil. You should put taste in there. Some cilantro as well. Uh, mm -hmm. Garlic. I took, I took a knife and I chopped up everything until it was nice and fine and diced up. And then I mixed all it together in a bowl and I put it in a, in a, in a pot right there. Um, along with the mushrooms, the diced um, onions, everything. Um, and then I put some. Well, something here that's not, that's, that's not actually made okay. to uh, lasagna. Uh, mustard seeds. Okay. Oh. Okay. So put mustard seeds in it. Okay. Oh, that gives a little kick. Mm -hmm. 
that's what I put. And then I and then I put in a little bit of cayenne pepper as well. Not a lot, it's just just for flavor. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I like hot food, but this is good. <laughs> I put probably less than a teaspoon of the cayenne pepper. It's because that sneaks up on me. It's, 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 it's a okay, sweet well, start. Oh, I eat spicy. Oh, I eat spicy. That's what I'm like, what? No, no, he said it sneaks no. up on you. I'm like, no, it doesn't. No, no it's, it's sweet at first. This is good. But then later on, you, mm -hmm. you get that kick at, mm -hmm. you know, after a while, you know, you, you get sucked in and it's like, okay. Yeah, last the Haitian night. and me will take it. <laughs> Look, I love it too. Last night. Well, I got real good. And I thought I was okay. I'm you know, driving home. What happened? I got to see, I live in North Virginia. So, all right, all right. I'm from Bellsville, too. Okay, okay. So, once I get to North Virginia. And that's your base. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to make sure I'm following. If you notice, these are just regular noodles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't boil them. And you didn't buy the pre one. Mm -mm. What's that? Because guess what? It's going to do its thing actually in the sauce. As long as that sauce, that sauce is nice and thick. Okay. It's gonna do us all do us yeah. up in the uh, in the oven. Okay. You never have to boil noodles. I love it. <laughs> how much time? How much time you just save right there? Yeah, about a lot. An hour. You slept to boil it in about I mean, like 20, 30 minutes. Think, yeah. right, so no, 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 no. Think about this. First of all, you gotta get you out some. Uh, it. No, no, no. It's a non-stick Reynolds wrap. Mm -hmm. Or something, right? Because after you boil it, then you need to take and put it on something so it doesn't stick, it right? Doesn't stick. And then, and then you gotta figure out how to layer it because you don't want nothing to break mm -hmm. or tear. So guess what? I just eliminated that whole step. Mm -hmm. One and two. And this is the regular one. Yes. That's why I'm bugging out because I used to always buy the one that you know that says oven made or whatever it's called. Okay. And I'm just like, she's cute. It's all right. It's like, I'm just it's all right. It's all right. She's like. No, yes, because the woman is just supposed to drink wine while the men like work in the kitchen. That's fine. Wait, that is, okay. I'm in agreement. All right. I'm in agreement. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Men, men belong in the kitchen. <laughs> I love being in the kitchen. Men belong 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 in the kitchen. That's just what. Chef, that's your job. That's your job. If you think if a man is a provider and a man is a you know provider, a man belongs in the kitchen. Chef, you hear this right? Ladies and gentlemen in Foodie Land. We have a modern woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Extremely. Yes. Ex extremely modern. Extremely modern. Mm -hmm. So, we got it. We're going to touch that one. But, but before I touch that, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I want you to see the sauce already in the pan. <laughs> okay? It's already covered in noodles. And what I, and what I did was to, to fast forward another step is I combined the ricotta cheese with the ground chicken meat. Mm, so that way, what I do is, makes sense. what I'm doing is now I'm making this, the second layer, actually the first layer. So I'm putting it in, and the ricotta cheese combined with the, uh, the ground meat is a nice, even mix. Sense. So that way, you're not having to struggle trying to figure out, mm. can I put this much on this layer? Can I put this much on right. that layer? No, everything goes in, and you just spread it out. And this it is one of your innovations, also, right? Well, you know, to me, it makes sense. Well, it no, make it, sense. no, it does. I'm just saying, like, you can't. Wow, wow. All right. Check. That's the beginning. Like so, exactly. so, ladies and gentlemen at home and Foodie Land, take a look. And we're still getting started. Mm -hmm. And we're playing. Respect, sir. Oh, you go. Go. Oh, this is exactly why they belong. <laughs> yeah, because we're gonna do one to by one. I she trying to steal down with that? No, man. Y'all said this is the truth. Look, so we supposed to. <laughs> when, I, supposed to when I was raised, where, where was my daddy? In there. Actually, None. do I know anything my mom cooked? No, because she wasn't in the kitchen. But I can tell you some stuff my dad was in the kitchen. My dad was in the kitchen. So yeah. Okay. That's where Maybe. the man belongs. All right. So now we go. Um, you know what? Speak it. I'm thinking these needs to be Call the thing a thing. Say it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This man's show. We're not going to hijack his show. I think the responsibility needs to be shared. Thank you. That's why I was getting asking. So, what do you know how to cook? So, it's kind of too late now in the game for me to be trying to learn something. So, you don't know how to cook anything? I can I can make stuff. I didn't say I didn't know how to cook. I just said I believe a man belongs in the kitchen. Don't don't tell me your your oven's on shoe right. So, don't tell me that. <laughs> like oh, I said, I didn't say that day. I did not know how to cook. I said I believe, you know, the man belongs um, in the kitchen. Okay, so let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. What do you know how to cook? I can make some You can survive, right? That's no, I can, first of all, I'm actually 
actually making stuff because I'm not going to California this year. So I'm actually making Thanksgiving um, at my house and I'm going to cook. I'm making, I don't like turkeys. I don't like um, white meat. So I'm going to make turkey wings. I, I can what? cook. So what? I can cook. Do I want to? No. No. And story. men, okay. you know, belong in the kitchen. If you normally meet men and all of them also know how to cook, then it's like, oh, you know, what, what I said is just right. They belong in, in the kitchen. I don't have to because they are. You know, they put in the food. So you put a layer of the lasagna noodles and then you put some more sauce on top. Make sure, and when you make the sauce, right, make sure it's a thick sauce. Right. So okay. the way I described the sauce right. from earlier, it would be a little bit um, thin. So what, you, what I had to do was I had to add in tomato sauce. Okay. Well, I mean, and tomato paste. Okay. okay so the it. tomato paste makes it thick. Okay. Two small cans of tomato paste made it this thick. Okay. And there you go. That's it. Well done, sir. Mm. You know what? I probably have another do another another pan actually. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? So let's break with some seeds on it. Some goodness. Nice cheddar, right, Sharp? Mm-hmm. Touch my knobs all the time. 
before you can get in my drawers. But now all you want to do is strip me down and rub me a little until you can finish me off. Aggressive? Mm -mm. That's what I was thinking initially. He said well, 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 wait, wait a minute, hold on. All right, what's the clues? It's, it's deeds. It's not a. Uh, oh, it's a. Oh. <laughs> what does that mean? Dirty deeds. Dirty deeds. So you used to. You used to touch my knobs all the time. My knobs. Mm -hmm. Okay. All the time before mm -hmm. you could get in my drawers. Drawers. But now all you want to <laughs> do up is strip me down. Same thing. Strip me down and rub me a little until you can finish me off. Um, I know. Is it like a breakdown or something? Uh, something? Well, well, you were close with what you said. Uh, it's a closet a door. door? No, no, not a door, but you, you, the first thing you said. Remember what you said? No, can you remind me? <laughs> right? You said, uh, you said a dresser, right? I said a dresser. Oh, excuse me. Well, dresser. you were closer. Yeah. So actually, you're right because it says a furniture. A chest of drawer? Okay. It says furniture. Okay. okay. So you're right. Okay. All right. Furniture. Okay. Here you go. Yes, sir. Okay. 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 Oh boy. <laughs> you read these or clues? Um, clues. I don't know what I'm reading. It's just classic. It says clues right there. Oh. Yeah. The, the top half are clues and the bottom half are clues. Okay. So I'm reading clues. Okay. I'm a four-letter word that ends in UNT. I'm a name for a woman. Sometimes your uncle Boy. makes me come. Sometimes I come with your cousin. Oh. Damn it! <laughs> First of all, I was like, wait, what? And he has this game. Because I was sitting there like, what? No, when you she said UNT. Home? No, I don't, actually. That's okay. my first time. I was thinking of a curse word. I was like, but I was me like, too. I was like, was this a cunt? But then right. I was like, wait, cousin. Right. I was like, I had to get my mind out of the dirty part. So I was like, uh. <laughs> and then said, wait, well, come with your cousin. <laughs> Sometimes I come with your, your uncle um, makes me come. Wait a minute, hold on. I was up. like, let so me many pause ways. on this. Right. <laughs> Here you go. Um, it takes me a minute to okay. process information. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, we're going to go into um, cooking the shrimp and uh, serving the scallops for the seafood carbonara on that part. <laughs> Whew. I got to pick this up at the store somewhere. I know. I, was, I, I just, just looked it up on Amazon. Amazon. I just looked it up. Amazon, baby. Amazon. got everything. And the game is called Dirty Minds. You're right. Yeah, I found it on Amazon. Yeah, that is definitely a game changer. Oh man, you ain't no. <laughs> no, but I found out today. I learned today. Can I get some more ones? Yes. Thank you. Okay. For those at home, I'm starting the process to make the seafood carbonara. So I have butter and minced garlic in the skillet already. Next thing I do, I'm going to season the shrimp and put the shrimp inside the garlic and the butter. It doesn't take much. But since it's an Italian dish, it's light seasoning. We're gonna keep this up a notch. What's it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this this is a game changer with this wine and that too. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I ain't gonna get me a piece. Okay, so <laughs> to kick this up. We're going to do some Tuscan seasoning. And we're going to be generous with it. Uh -huh. Tuscan seasoning. What does that taste like? You'll sing a song. Or three. <laughs> and why are you being generous with that? Yeah, I'm like, what's, what's Tuscan? I've never heard okay. of that before. The reason why I'm saying be generous with it, mm -hmm. the shrimp is not marinated. Right. Okay, okay in any seasoning. So we want to flavor it correctly. We're going to do it generously. And this this right here is a South African smoke, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. You can get this at Trader Joe's. Okay. Now, the title is the title is actually the season. Okay. 
I need you to not do this right now. <laughs> I, I need you to not do this right now. So I never knew that that's what the liquid was for. Oh, that's what it's for. I could have. We left it alone. It was just for aesthetics. Alright. Now, since this is a national Italian dish, I'm going to make a little fusion. I'm going to add in some um, Cajun seasoning into the shrimp. Because I like Cajun seasoning. Well. And since I'm a, I have some Trini blood and I have Caribbean roots, this is jerky time. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, jerky time. You can find this at the Caribbean market or an international market. And we're going to back this down a little bit. Beautiful. All right. So, I got gloves on. I can get dirty. <laughs> Dirty mind. Right, I was going to say, it's the game. Speaking of which, I believe it's your turn. <laughs> well, he, you know, he's making something. You know what? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so, here's our shrimp. I'm going to put it. Right. So let's go ahead and put it in. I thought it was already butterfly too. Uh, so it's not going to take long. Look at that. I got halfway done already. Now, in order to get the, the, in order to get the shrimp uh, prepared, I soak the shrimp in lemon and lime juice water. Whoa. Okay. Because that kills any parasites. In the Caribbean, you gotta think about it. They don't have um, a lot of hot water heaters and whatnot. Okay. So they do lemon lime juice, which is citrus based, and that kills parasites. Already done. Now, educator, wants to know how do you know that information? Did you, it's something that you read, or how do you know they don't have a lot of hot water heater? I'm not trying to be difficult. <laughs> I just, you know, I have like yeah, questions. I promise you, right. <laughs> no, good question, you did, you know. I'm not. How do you know? You read that somewhere? Okay, so I'm part of my heritage is Trini. Okay. So from Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, I can attest to that. <laughs> some of my family over there, mm -hmm. um, when I was staying with them, they did not have hot water heaters. Okay, so from experience, you're speaking of experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's the same thing with a lot of families over there. You know, okay. they don't have certain things. They got they have a lot of modern modern amenities, mm -hmm. but some things they don't have like hot water heaters and whatnot. Okay. Some do, some don't. Mm -hmm. And overall. How do you get the food to taste a certain way? How do you get the meat clean? Well, one, the meat doesn't have all the pesticides and all the other crap that's in that we put in the United States here. Mm -hmm. okay. So that food is actually cleaner mm. from the from the word jump. Okay. Then on top of that, you want to clean. You need to clean the meat a certain way. Well, soak in a lemon and lime juice water, and then after you do soak it for about thirty minutes to an hour or whatnot, wash the hell out of it so you know, it's not tasting lemony or limey. Afterwards, the meat is clean. Now you can use the meat and do it any, any way you want to. Perfect. Can you just educate somebody on so, doing something? You ready for a taste? Uh, sure. So why are you looking at me? I just love how she's volunteering me. Oh, just volunteering this, me. This is right. me. I have questions. That's how no, you learn. No, no, I'm not talking about questions. She's like, what? oh, yes, that's I'm, I'm like, I'm like, she did, she did I'm, like, hey, like, I'm going to I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, provide you a fork in a second. Okay. Thank you. I use my fork. I'm going to this. Yeah, she I, so he was wanting to give some to everybody anyway. Chill, yo. Do we need to switch? <laughs> do I need to move your seat? That has nothing to do with what I was talking about. <laughs> right, right. Really? 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 Sit over counselor, there. Counselor. 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 Just, counselor. Just, really, wow. counselor? I have to move your I seat. can't put you two together. <laughs> really, counselor? Mm -hmm. Starting trouble. Mm -hmm. She she throwing rocks and hiding her hands. Okay. I'm actually not because it's you know if you think I'm throwing the rocks, it's how you think. No, it's not. It has nothing to do with me. It's having it kind of do you think. It's, it's, it's a joke. I know. I know what you know. I think she guilty, y'all. I think she is too. I'm She's projecting right now. I'm not she def She's deflecting. Right. I'm also not either. <laughs> really? 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 I'm not, but it just makes me think, you know, when, when people think a certain way, I just, oh, you know, Lord. I like to know how their mind, you know, works. Like really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like to know how your mind works. Well, dirty mind. Dirty. Mind. Um, <laughs> dirty. It's not. Dirty. It's not. Dirty. It's not. Really? It's I love not. this. 
Oh, you I know what? You, know, you read that card. It was like, in the voice, in the voice, in the voice. I'm gonna read it in my voice. So the interesting thing is, as she's reading, I'm so distracted with the voice. I'm right. like, wow. I'm in high turn. You know what I'm saying? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You saw that too. Have you seen those commercials? You know, like one nine hundred, whatever. You know, and somebody on the other phone talking real sex one. The call girl. Exactly. Right. That's you. something that will get you, you know, get you full up, and then you go there and you dance the night away. Even if you don't dance, they had another place where you can sit and chat and just talk and listen okay. to music. That in itself is Isn't getting there, to know someone. You're interacting, right? You're interacting versus, right. because even with movies, I don't particularly like that for a first date. You Correct. Don't know why? Because you're looking at a movie, we can't you talk. can't really talk, you can't really interact and with each other. Touch me. Well, <laughs> on the first day, you better not touch me. That, that is. So I, I had nothing to do with that, ladies and gentlemen. She said that. Okay, fine. But what I'm saying is, mm -hmm. you have things. If you're creative, you can make it happen. And that's the first. That's what the first day should be. Truthfully, my thing is, a first day shouldn't be under fifty bucks. It should be over fifty bucks. It shouldn't be over fifty. Yeah, it should. I don't know if I'm going to agree with that. The reason why I don't I'm think saying it should be a, a number. Though. I don't think it should be enough. And I get what you're saying, and I can see, I can see actually people making a case for that. But at the same time, date within it's, your means. If it, right, date within your means. If right. It's, right. And it could go on. That first date could go on to like that that, that one day. Right. You can leave from dinner. You guys are just kicking it so good. You know, mm -hmm. the chemistry is so great. You go on to doing some other stuff. You know, well, so it carries on. I, I can agree with that. But what I was saying was, here's the thing. So many times, there's so many. Men and women. Men, men have right. Men have. You can't smell. I'm, I'm processing. I'm listening. I'm processing. I'm waiting for my turn. Okay. Men have been put on a significant task that we are expected to pay. Jumps created to do that. No, sorry. Oh, 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 oh. And the devil is still alive. See, this, this is what I'm saying. We have the uncharted task of having a first date, expensive date. Okay, so, and we have to provide, but really, truthfully, if we do it right, and you have a good time, you don't have to have an if expensive you do it date. Right, right. It doesn't have to be an expensive date. It definitely should be a creative date. Um, but the but so so what I go ahead. So I've been in the DMV for three years. Oh really? Yeah, for three years. Oh. What I'm noticing, and it's not necessarily all from my experience, just from like conversations and like things I see in social media. Um, different social social media groups. Um, there's been a lot of complaints, and a lot of it is a lack of creativity and communication. True. I think that the thing is, one of you guys mentioned expectations, right? Unrealistic expectations. Unrealistic expectations. Well, no thing too is, if you, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, no, go ahead. My go ahead. Look, 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 this is a hot topic, man. I just want to say that man, because you said it's a hard. That's what I'm going to say. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I am listening. I cut you off. Go ahead, please. conversations and getting to know each other just a little bit of getting to know each other like who are you you know mm -hmm. type thing before going out on the first date mm -hmm. so then what ends up happening is they go on the first date and one one is out for a meal or one is out you know for whatever but these are things that you could have weaned out if you would just sat down and had a conversation with that person but how can you do that when they don't know themselves what do you mean there's now, a lot we're not talking about what the other person right. 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 But, but, but I'm, I'm, I'm asking a question. She 
<laughs> but but I'm, ask, I'm asking a question. Mm -hmm. People say they like different things, but what if they don't know themselves to know what they don't do? And, and I get like? that, but it's on you to use your discernment skills, right? I don't disagree. That's so, not something that I gave everybody. <laughs> Next, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'll fight. That go. is true, though. There you go. I'll I'm, just, I'm sorry, I'm just waiting on my turn. I'm just waiting on my turn. So go ahead, go ahead. What go, do you go ahead. Well, I can see right after the show, you know, you want to change numbers or whatnot. You're like, girl, what you doing tonight? I don't know. But they're going to be funny as hell. <laughs> well, go ahead. You, you make the I don't know, but you finished? No, yeah, I, think, I, think, I, think, I think I'm good. So, so, uh, so there were a, a few things that um, there were just so many things that I wanted to reflect on. You got, so, more, you got some more weird problems, um, right, bro. Uh, I got more wine. Let's get ready to get uh, so, but, but you don't cause me to drink. But uh, before we get to the wine, here. Oh, thank you. I want to give you something. Thank you. <laughs> and he he put it in front of me first, so without you trying to say like, oh, I just went oh, here. No, 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 no. Why are you assuming? You just said that. It's not assuming. I'm using data to inform my decision. So the data shows me that you mentioned before that I just grabbed my hand out. And then he was like, so no, right. So I'm just no, using you know, what I knew from the data yeah, right. to show so me says, that, yeah. It's your birthday weekend. Thank you, sir. It's your birthday weekend. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Well, you, you too. The reason why I did this mm -hmm. was because it was ladies first after you got yours. That was my. But thing. you were thinking you were supposed to get yours first? No, <laughs> that's what you're assuming. No, I'm just saying. I said this because ladies Yo, first. Y'all funny. Uh -huh. That's my whole thing. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, just so you can see, what I'm serving. <laughs> I'm serving a scallop right now <laughs> that I am seared and I put say time. It. I'm like Iyama. All the things you put some say it. The thing wine. is, stop assuming. I didn't assume. No, you're, you're. Listen. Mm, this is good, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there oregano in there too? Mm. What did I taste? It did taste like it yeah, was, right? Mr. Lee. Oh, I don't know. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mr. Lee. Well, we don't dumb down to a low. And there's an unrealistic expectation with a lot of women, mm -hmm. most women in the DMV, and I have to be honest, mm -hmm. okay? It, and, they, and they run it back. Just like men run it back, women run it back too. Mm -hmm. That, hey, look, we want this. It's not about the creative thing where we can have a picnic on by the beach or we can mm -hmm. do this. You, you get what I'm saying? They want the, the whole like pretentious thing. Exactly, because they have an so image you, to maintain. But when do you find that out? Right. When do you find at that out? point? Because okay. you don't find that out when you at the actual day. That's something that you find say out it. beforehand. So uh, 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 yes. Stop, stop right there. No, no, no. No, no, oh, no. no, 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 so okay, we gotta let him, not we gotta let him speak because his experience. There's a lot of women that will say they like creative. They say they like these little things. Mm -hmm. But as you talk about representatives, there's a lot of women that have a lot of status that they say, I have a status to maintain or an image to maintain. So I, I that's beneath me. Okay, so, so do you do you I'm talking about when we get and this is a conversation this is during the conversation so, before you go out on a date, right? The best you pursue mm -mm, mm -mm. the best thing can, can I say this real quick and I'm be quiet. The best thing you can that, that, do, that, 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 I. <laughs> she lying. She lying. That's, that's the a lie. Right that's why she The lying. best right thing there. you can do is learn how to listen for what people say and to listen for what they don't say. No. And that has been my master. I listen I for what people say that. and I listen but for what they what? don't say. But you know what? She's hitting it on the nail. Listen. She, but you're saying that. No, but, it's true. But, but wait a minute. When do you up. find this information out is what she was asking. And no, it's, she ain't asking. You, you she is. Asking. Because are you listening for what people Why? say and for what they don't say? Listen, and I'm going to tell you, I am not, I'm going to get a little bit spiritual here real quick. I am not a <laughs> counselor just because that's just what I do for a living. I was created to be in this position that I'm in. And so I have all this wealth so of funny. knowledge and information. This is where I, I check out. Because no, it's no, fact. no. But you no, gotta listen. Listen to what people don't say. Wait, you gotta, but, but wait a you minute. You have to. You have to. Because I, it's so I get much. that, but you're not listening to the whole more. thing of what I'm saying. Okay, right wait, now. wait. Just, I just need you to just answer that one. Don't part. check out. We don't want him to check out. I know. I know. You stop listening. I know. I just need him to just talk. But you listen to the word you said, though. Wait. You talk. You talk. Wait. Wait, 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 w
you see a whole lot of stuff. They said, well, wait a minute, you was and that's on both. That's both. Both. I get that, but I'm talking people. about with the woman. Yes. Okay. Because we say what look, do you do at that point? And and at the at at what I do is I stop after that date. Hey, it's been real knowing you. There you go. And I roll out. There but you go. what I'm trying to say is that's not my point. My point is this. There's a lot of pretense that go on because people aren't real with themselves. Mm -hmm. And so they're not going to be real with other people. And it's men and women that do that. But I'm talking about from the point of women. Of women. So you, you, you well, get what I'm saying? The point is, what you're looking at it from a men's so, lens. Because if, uh -huh. right, if I'm asking you these things, you are not lied to me. Right, you because can't? they're trying to um, per perpetuate right, a certain Right, because life. you want something from me. So you sometimes pretend, and that's why I said y'all are in the minority, mm -hmm. because a lot of women say they don't want a certain thing, but then they say they want a certain standard after you get yeah. invested. Yeah. And see, so now there's a lot of men that get invested after one or two dates. Mm -hmm. And it's like, but well, women, you told me this, now you're switching up what's going on here. But that's what I'm saying, you need to listen for what people don't say. So when I talk, when mm -hmm. I'm getting to know She's somebody, right. so, and so, I am so right, right, right next to you. Right quick, okay, go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've been paying attention to the show, we have a lot of a exciting conversations yeah. we're doing. <laughs> we do. Uh, right now, I'm making the seafood carbonara. And so at this moment, I have put in, I'm sauteing in the red, uh, the diced red onions, tomatoes, because I'm kicking this up another notch. Okay. Because Kick it up, sir. Kick it up, sir. I've already put in some butter and some minced garlic. Now I'm putting in the noodles in it now. Now to me, the whole thing about the about the carbonara dish is the fact that you add an egg with parmesan. And what you've seen is I've already mixed the egg and the parmesan together. Now next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a little bit of the water. Oh and here's our pan chub we're gonna add in as well. Now, here's the water we're going to add in. We're going to do a spoonful of water. Actually, let's do two. So, you need to break this up, make sure it's nice and flavorful in there. Okay? And we continue to stir around. We don't want this to burn, but I need for the eggs and the parmesan to mix with the seasoning that's already in the skillet. Can I ask, um, is the water seasoned, like, seasoned with anything or flavored with anything? Just salt and pepper. Okay. So the whole thing about the carbonara, you know, it's an Italian dish, and this has roots, you know, of how this came about. This whole dish came about because, um, basically it was a poor man's dish, you know, and they didn't have much money. So how can we, how, you know, it's another way to elevate uh, a noodle dish. It's just another way to elevate it. So they did it with eggs and stock. And that was made from, you know, from the water that the uh, new was boiled in. So, and I'm gonna, add, and you just you add in the water to it and the noodles. So, as you see, you're like, wait a minute, but that's that's a raw egg, yeah. But I mixed it with the seasoning and I also mixed it with the the parmesan. And I'm gonna put this on medium so I don't want this to burn. So I'm not trying to cook the egg. I want the egg to mix with the the parmesan and everything else in, in the skillet and also the pancetta. So you can do this with the pancetta or you can also do this with bacon. Mm -hmm. so you can just get some bacon and just cut up the bacon. And before the bacon, you know, put the bacon in the skillet first and just chop chop up the bacon. So the bacon forms that bacon grease in the skillet. So you won't need any grease. Oh. So I did the pancetta. The pancetta is how the dish is supposed to be made. But a pan chill doesn't doesn't produce that um, that oil the way bacon does. That's true. So it's healthier the pancetta. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this um this one is uncured. Okay. Good. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you saw me cook the shrimp and the um, scallops ahead of time. Mm-hmm. Well, they don't get added in until plating basically. And this dish is basically almost done. I just got added some more noodles to it in the dish and stir it up, and the dish is done. That fast.
and it's, and it's all about keeping the skillet wet. You can add in the olive oil as well. But we're gonna add in just a little bit of olive oil. And make sure you keep in, see how everything is mixed together? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And here comes the olive oil. Just a nice coating. Mix everything together. See, it looks now it's creamy. And we don't have any eggs being cooked. That's first and foremost. <laughs> I'm gonna say, if that happens, that means you went, you did something you wrong. You did something right? really, really okay. wrong. Okay. Okay. All right. So, this is our pasta dish. This is our seafood carbonara. So well done. Well done. That dish is done. Well done. And the last on the list is. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Too much to drink, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Too much wine. It was the right time. I was gonna say, yeah. I, I feel it. This though. is when the bot brought in the ghost. <laughs> that, that's, that's your you limit. Are, right? that's, your limit. <laughs> that's your limit. That's your limit. You want me to call you a cow? <laughs> yeah. Go in the back and go to sleep. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a seafood medley. Okay. Egg oh, rolls. Great. So that's gonna be I need to clean my area off. Okay. And set up a little bit. But we're going to get re revisit the conversation because it's being very, very spirited, mm -hmm. and we don't, you know, initially we don't limit anybody's um, conversation. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So. It's everybody's point of view. That's all. It's <laughs> terror. Oh no, what, 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 Joe, what, what, you last up? It was between I, the two of them. Yeah. I, I, what I wanted to say was, it's like, you know, there's a lot of, and I have to say this: you talk about spirited. There's a lot of discernment that does need to go on, I do agree. Mm -hmm. But I also know there's a lot of folks that lie on both sides. Yes, agree. And you, you can you can put up that facade for a little bit. And, and this is this is being a DMV. I'm not saying it's everywhere. Gotcha. You know, hey, whatever. And we're, we're both something. from two different places, right. right? But I also know that there's a lot of people who aren't truthful with themselves. So they can't be truthful with you. Got it. And so it's been my experience that there's a lot of people who don't know themselves. And unfortunately, if you don't find out about that, and I've learned to come from some of the same schooling that you are, you know, to hit them with the batarang of questions. It's like, look, you know what? Okay, how do you feel like this? And I've actually gotten to the point now that I actually asked about that upbringing. And, and, ask about, important. Important. And, and ask about who was in your life when you were growing up. How would you treat your father in your life? And how did that make you feel? It's because mm -hmm. and he, if he wasn't in your life, okay, I know that I have to tread lightly with you because there's some things that you might not understand as a man if you never had a man to step up. Mm -hmm. If there was a man in your life, how did he treat you? Uh, you know, father mm -hmm. figure, and if and if it's and I'm gonna say this because there's a lot of women that I found out mm -hmm. in my dating experience, and I found out later instead of finding out earlier that their father was either abusive or mm -hmm. disregard or even absentee, even though they were in the home. Mm -hmm. and that okay, happen. that that happens, and guess what happens? They still don't know how. A man should treat them, number one. Mm -hmm. And then they don't know how they should treat a man. Mm -hmm. Because they never saw that interaction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have a lot of dysfunction. And I'm not just putting it on a woman. I'm putting it on a man too. Mm -hmm. Okay? But what I'm saying is, there's a lot of things that people uh, lie about. And when I say lie about, they want that fantasy. Mm -hmm. But that fantasy is not the reality of the situation. So now you have that whole dynamic coming in where it's an unrealistic expectation where they want the man to be, but you ain't never seen that, number one. And then number two, you have some things that you said that, that when you talk to other people, they said, well, wait a minute. And, and I've heard other women actually talk to them and say, why are you putting unrealistic expectation that you want them out the gate to be your all in all? But you never had that, number one. But number two... If this man is sacrificing to be there, and I'm just being honest, mm -hmm. okay? And this we talking about the first date. If this man is doing that, then hold up. Why are you putting all that when you didn't come from that? 
number one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She talked about her father always been there. Mm -hmm. Okay, her father was always in her life. Mm -hmm. Her father was always providing and 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 for lack of a better term, he spoiled her mm -hmm. to where she should look for someone, somebody who's mm -hmm. on that level or greater. Mm -hmm. But if you never had that, how are you gonna one ask for that? But number two, how are you gonna expect? that when you never experienced that. Like what's your scale, right? right. How do you know what scale, okay. And so mm -hmm. there's a lot of women out here because, and, and there's nothing wrong with obtaining. Please don't get that wrong, what I'm saying. There's nothing wrong with obtaining degrees, you know, milestones and things in your life. Mm -hmm. But then you expect a man to come up or be this way when you never experienced that and then you put an unrealistic expectation because you know that either one, hey, this is what you want in a fantasy world. Good. Like, Even with people who have six figures, seven figures, mm -hmm. some of them are not bringing, a lot of them are not bringing that to the table. Right. Okay, and it's not about money, but what I'm trying to say is there needs to be an agreement. Okay. okay? Hi, Thomas. It's agreement. Like? Yes. Mm -hmm. There needs to be an agreement, for, but you know what? I think you said it, where... There needs to be, hey, we need to talk about these things, okay? And if you don't see it, or you can't meet it, or even if you don't like what's going on, walk away. Because I, I can agree with what you're saying. Some men do have low self-esteem to say, look, wait a minute, you know. They need 50 million women. No, it's not just 50 million women. They, they tolerate a mm. lot of stuff mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that they should. That they should, mm -hmm. that I agree. Mm -hmm. Just to have that extra one. So, mm -hmm. I listen to you, you say... Said, you said to have the extra one? What, what yeah, do you mean by the extra one. Like, men like to... Because um, some people, when when people date, they like to, you know, just say they're dating one person. Sorry, dating, dating is data collection to me, so I'm not limiting myself. I'm going to date whoever I want to date as I am collecting this data to determine who is who the is. one mm -hmm. should that, you know, should be my main one. So, you say, you know, sometimes... Your women, main one, huh? Not the only one, huh? I caught yes. that. I caught that, too. I caught that. I caught that. Man. I caught that. I mean, it was big bold right. That was the main one. That was the main one. This speaks to their mindset. Uh, the main one. The story that I'm telling myself, and I, I want to be, you know, specific about me, is that you have, um, you know, based on the short amount of time that you have got to experience me, right? Oh, about two hours. It's still a short amount of time that you, you. Right. Experience. I'm, I'm, I'm taking it all this in. Wait a minute. Yes, because Let that's what it is. You are experiencing me. She said experience. <laughs> I, I, I'm just processing So what, right, what do you I'm, think that I'm I mean listening. when I say experience me? I'm, I'm, it is I'm, an experience. Yeah. Every what, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I'm, develop, I'm developing <laughs> what she's doing. Okay. So, so by by her actions, this I'm you asking a question, mm -hmm, so I'm mm -hmm. saying I'm developing an analysis mm -hmm. based on my limited experience experiencing you. Go ahead with that um accountant. Um there you go. So <laughs> as my good sister No 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 don't um, be putting that in <laughs> Don't be putting that this is this is one on one. No nah, <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this third party verification <laughs> is going to be the death of something. Right third party Ladies verification. I, I want you to understand. This is a, this is a um, not scripted. This, this right, is truly not. uncut. This is actually true, in real life. It's not scripted. <laughs> I'm having fun. Me too. Me too. <laughs> Men these days do not know that. Like, I go on dates, and I tell them flat out, like, I'm walking on the wrong side of the street. I open doors. And you I walk should. On the, I, the reason why I'm putting that out there is because... Because I stand behind the door, like... That's etiquette. <laughs> One, that's etiquette. Yeah. That's a standard. Chivalry. That's a standard. And we have now two generations. It used to be just one. But it's two generations that didn't teach from where he's talking about 60s, 50s, 40s, and 30s. Mm -hmm. Another thing too, and my my brother's keeper. A lot of people don't even know what that term is. Right. And my my brother's keeper. Right. And in my family, the way I grew up, I'm just saying my family. Mm -hmm. And I recognize this because uh, a lot of other families are, do not 
portray the same things we were taught growing mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. We were taught we were taught morals, values, integrity. Mm-hmm. You know how you supposed to be as a man. Respect, how you, yeah. Mm-hmm. Respect is a big one. You know how how you should be. You know how you should treat your relatives. How you should treat your family. Is honor, that how, how you, honor. Yes. Exactly. You know. And and then when and then when it came to you know we were actually interacting with other families and other people and whatnot, you, you know, my brothers and I we, we you know we grew up in the same household three of us you know and you know how you see those memes on Facebook and on, on, on social media about you know you can live here with your family for a whole year but but could you? Mm-hmm. I'm like yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, I live twenty years <laughs> yeah exactly you know my brothers now you know. I was, I, you know, I lived with my brothers for a long time at mom and dad's house, you know. It's not like 18, we got kicked out. No, you know, I moved out of mom and dad's house twice. Mm-hmm. I moved out and moved back in and, and then moved out again. I did, I did too, yeah. You know, and the same time, both my brothers were still there. Mm-hmm. Between myself and my middle brother, it is nine years apart. Okay. Myself and my youngest brother, it is 15 years difference. Wow. You know, so okay. I mean, so I moved out, moved back in. I was there to catch my lap, my youngest brother as he was growing up and fin- you know wow. get to that age mm-hmm. you know so i'm in my i'm late 20s early 30s and i'm now moving out of the house again and be mm-hmm. on my own again mm-hmm. you know we all fall, fall down and we, we pick ourselves back up you know by mm-hmm. our bootstraps you know and the things i learned from my mom and dad is is kind of twofold there are certain things you learn in the indian family Mm-hmm. And there are certain things you learn in a southern family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And being that I'm from, you know, I grew up in the South, and my family is straddled the fence between West Indian mm-hmm. and Native American. So mm-hmm. I picked up all those values from both sides of the fences. You know, from the southern, the the West Indian side, the Caribbean, and the Native American side. There's all different pieces of the puzzle that played into how my brothers and I were raised. And we go interact with other people, which we we'd like. Dang. What the hell? But are you right. saying that the way you were raised was the standard? And that other That's, people should be raised I'm, like that? I'm, no, what I'm saying is other people were raised differently. And to, in today's times, people don't have the integrity. They no. don't have standards. They don't have honor. The morals they, and values. Yeah. They, they just don't have those. No. And those things should be taught, in, taught at right. home. And now you have kids having kids. And those kids having so kids, they don't know about morals, values, mm-hmm. integrity, honor system. You know, it's a whole bunch of things they just don't know. And if you don't and, have that. And if they weren't taught those things, then it's lost. Mm-hmm. So now you have two, three, two or three generations yeah. that have lost yeah, exactly. all this in between. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, you have other races that have kept that integrity piece. They kept those family values. They kept everything. Look at the Asians. Yeah. Okay. Look at the Jewish. Exactly. Look mm-hmm. at the Amish people. Yes, yes. I'm the hype man now, right? Now, now, for the Amish people, did, you, kn- did you know, for the Amish people, that they don't really have health care? Nope. How, I don't know about healthcare. However, if somebody gets sick and they need help, the entire Amish community right there mm-hmm. pitches in, gives money, and helps that person go to the hospital, pay the mm-hmm. hospital yep. bill, everything. And do you also know they don't pay Social Security? Exactly. They don't pay. They they don't get it paid, taken out or nothing. Mm-hmm. But they are not the least healthy. Also, mm-hmm. they're not the least healthy. But they take care of their families. They take care of their community. They say, mm-hmm. "I need all everything a man can do. Only better. I don't need a man. A man is less than me." This is what they're saying. Okay. They ran the numbers and statistics. Right now, there are more women in STEM programs mm-hmm. than men, mm-hmm. and this is worldwide. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and just remember, and it's even more, more so in the United States. Mm-hmm. In the United States, when they do STEM programs uh, at magnet schools now, it's majority women. And where are the men? Playing football, basketball, whatever. Right. Or it, or now getting the trade jobs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or in jail. And it right. Yeah. yeah. See, it's, 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 it's the it's trade a, job is not an issue, but it's now job, it's yeah. now become a flip. Mm-hmm. Because women used to be in home, home economics classes mm-hmm. and other stuff. Those classes almost don't even exist anymore. They don't. Right. And they don't now mean. it's uh, it's the STEM program, so you know that mm-hmm. are going going places, and you see majority of women in those classes. Mm-hmm. And so the, they have to now cater the classes to women that are in the STEM. And there's very few men that are, that are enrolled to those classes in mm-hmm. middle school and high school for STEM. Right. And now, so now we're trying, you know, men are trying to, uh, growing number of men are trying to step up. Mm-hmm. And now it's 
because, like you said, the women have been doing it so much. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to let it go. I, I see that. Mm -hmm. The work has to be done. But also, there needs to be, and, and I guess the younger women. A balance. No, the younger women are not listening to the older women who went through the mistakes. Mm -hmm. He's and talking. So you're, and so now you have women, because... I heard Yonla Van Sant. She said, when I was younger, Yonla, yeah, Yonla fix, my Yonla. fix My Life. Fix My Life. Oh, that lady. Okay. Yeah. I don't watch the show. <laughs> no, no. But she made, she, made a, she made an interesting statement. Mm -hmm. She said, when I was younger in my 20s and 30s, I thought that, hey, because of what I went through, the older women didn't know what they were talking about. Right, right, right. And she was like, so I thought about it, but when I went through my issues and I started walking in their footsteps, she said, and I had my own practice trying to get women to see there's another way to do things. She saw it. And she said, I understand what that what the what the older woman said when they gave up on us. Mm -hmm. And now I find myself, she finds herself doing the same, the same thing. thing. Why? Because the younger women are not listening to the older woman mm -hmm. who went through what she went through. Right. And and it's the same thing with the men. I'm not saying that, but I think now, it's just a, 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 a um just younger younger generation saying oh you don't understand you don't it is they don't seem to under to see that i've been there you know i've been you mm -hmm. you know it's it's i don't want to say it's a disconnect but it's some some somewhere along the line where they don't see that we are very close mm -hmm. in um what's the word i'm looking for but, but it's history repeating itself yes. you are yes. young they're a younger version of us we're yes. trying to tell them what not to do because we made the right. mistakes if you listen to us, right. you won't have to make the mistakes. You right. can build on our foundation. Right. But a lot of these kids today don't want to listen. Right. Sometimes, though, you have to let them make some of the mistakes. You do. And that's the frustrating part because you know the devastating yeah. effects that can yeah. happen. You make the yeah. mistake. And, and it, it takes years. Your life. It takes you years, years to if not a lifetime, yes. to get out of. Yes, yes. Agreed. That's Agreed. why. I'm, that's why with my son, I, I'm telling him like, son, listen, you, your world is your oyster right now. Right. I'm trying to tell you what not to do because I'm telling you. <laughs> you, you, you <laughs> But you don't know what you're talking about. That's what he's saying, right? No, right, he's right. ten years old, so he oh, okay, listens okay, to me okay, a little okay, bit okay, better. Okay, okay. But you gotta understand that, you know, it's like the mistakes I make, I wouldn't wish that on no man. Right. Mm -hmm. None. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. it took me years. It took me a whole decade to get out of some stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't even my fault. And then, you, like I said, I don't want to get too much into it, but you, you got a lot of stuff that we got to debug. We got to get debugged out of our programming because it's like, no matter what your personality is, and this is men and women, mm -hmm. we shape a lot of stuff. But in our personality, it's based on the DNA of our experiences. And because we've gone through some experiences, I'm not going to let this happen again. So I'm going to put these defensive mechanisms mm -hmm. up. And what ends up happening is some of those defensive mechanisms ends up hurting the children. It ain't hurting us. Yeah. It's hurting the children. Right. And on that note... Oh, my thank bad, y'all. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in to us <laughs> for cooking and conversation. Have a great I evening. I apologize. And don't take any wooden nickels. <laughs> <laughs>